Hey, what's up, everybody? Game of Pro 8000 here, and welcome back to another reaction about SML. Where I'm gonna react to their new video, and that happens to be Broken Guy's Sad Day. Oh man, another one? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, this is the first time I've actually seen Broken Guy having a depressing day. Like, like his team lost to the Devon Nuggets at the finals. And also, he's the reason why 50 people die in a fire. And also, him not doing his very good job of fixing Rose's voice. Even though I like that bitch being quiet, but still. Him having the saddest day? Like, come on. I don't care about his sad life. I mean, everyone around him is the reason why he's like this. I mean, mostly his family, and so is his wife. Yes, the most. But anyways, I don't know what he's sad about. Let's find out. But I gotta ask all you something. How many of y'all have been having a sad day? Like, nothing, everything feels down. Everything feels glum. Everything feels depressing. Like, you had a bad breakup. Or, everything in your life just literally shattered. Yeah, like your dream has been shattered. Like, have you been feeling that? Or, it's like a rainy day, there's literally rain on you, that you're having a really sad day. I mean, how many of y'all? Because me, honestly, yes, I, I do feel having a sad day. But not all the time, but sometimes, everything just feels so down. Like, it literally got me bored. It literally got me crying. Like, if someone had died, yeah. Sometimes things just literally go sad, like rain or something you lost. I mean, everything about it or something else. Yes, everything just feels so glum. You have no choice but be emo all day. But yeah, things very be sad. But sometimes it can be happy for all of us. Okay. So, anyways, I'll just give you guys the time to put your answer in the comments, and I will like them very much if any of y'all have been having a sad day. All right. So anyways, before I get straight into this video, I just need you all to do me a huge favor and that see what like in this video and most importantly subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell while you're at it. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. Now let's get straight into this video and see how this goes. Morning, morning, morning. I'm so excited to go to Beyonce's birthday party today. I can't believe we were invited. There's going to be so many celebrities there. Do you think she'll like her cookie cake? Yeah. What's wrong, Boiny? Well, Karen, I just don't feel like going to an A-list celebrity birthday party today. What, Boiny? You've been so excited ever since Beyonce invited you when you got her out of a space. Ticket. I know, but I didn't realize her birthday was on the same day Steve Irwin died. What? Oh yeah, Karen, today's the day Steve Irwin was tragically taken from us by that goddamn stingray. Oh, I'm so upset. Well, Boiny, the party will distract you. No, it won't, Karen. How am I supposed to just sit there and eat cake and play pin the ring on the single lady when I know Steve Irwin was brutally impaled by a stingray on this day? How can people party on a day like this? It's like partying on 9-11. But, Boiny, you party on 9-11. Yeah, okay, well, they say never forget, not never party. Partying's the best way to remember. Well, let's party to remember Steve Irwin! Karen, are you sick in the head? That's my whole point. We can't party today. Today's a day of mourning. Karen, did you take a bite out of Beyonce's fucking cookie cake? I took a little nibble to make sure it wasn't stale. Okay, that's it. We're definitely not going now. But boy, boy, you told her you would go when she invited you on Facebook. I said maybe because I wanted to be mysterious. Oh, but boy, look, she hearted it. Karen, there's going to be so many other celebrities there. She's not even going to know we're not there. You're going to break her heart, boyny. Look, I'm just going to message Beyonce on Facebook and tell her I can't make it. Happy birthday, Beyonce. Sorry, I can't make it to your party. There. And now she's calling me. Boyny answer it. <sighs> Hello, Beyonce. Happy birthday, Beyonce. What do you want, Beyonce? Brooklyn guy. 
please tell me the message you sent me was a joke. You're still coming to my birthday party, right? No, Beyonce, it's not a joke. I just can't make it to your birthday party. I really wanted to, but I can't. But, uh, maybe next year? Actually, probably not. Maybe not any year, unless it's on a different day. So you have a problem with the day I was born? Well, yeah, it's just a bad day. It's not you, it's the day. Actually, the whole month of September's bad. Like, 9-11 happened in September, and Hurricane Katrina, and, like, the Nazis invaded Poland and started World War II in September, I think. And, and Queen Elizabeth II died, you know? Yeah, there's a reason Green Day wanted to sleep through this month. I don't give a stabbing stingray fuck that you don't like the month of September. You better show up to my birthday. Okay, now that is not a common expression. That's it. I'm not coming to your birthday. Bye. Wait, Blaney, we're not gonna go? Did you hear her, Karen? She took a jab at Steve. That really stung. Fuck! Fuck! Now I'm doing it! God damn it! On the day of Steve's death! I'm so sorry, Steve! Alright, I'm just gonna go to work to get my mind off this. Well, Blaney, can I still go? No, Karen, she's not even gonna care. Just stay here and eat the carrot- it's Fucking carrot cake. Cookie cake! Karen, eat it! You already started. It's not carrot cake. A carrot cake? Okay, he messed that one up. And also, they really did a great AI on Beyonce. Like, wow. And also, why the fuck would you literally deny a going to Beyonce's party? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, she's a fucking celebrity. You might deny an invitation from a celebrity? I would imagine if Drake invited me to his party, I would actually go. Hell yeah, I would go. I would join his party. It would be epic. Like, who the hell wants to turn down on a celebrity who invited you to their party? Invite you to their concert? Like, that's fucking stupid as hell for you. To be hate on September. I get it. We all hate September. We, we all remember what happens in September. And those are all true. They're, they really are. She said, I don't give a stabby stay right fuck about, about you hate September. <laughs> oh, man. They really did great on Beyonce and AI. But still, I mean, not going to a party will be the biggest mistake of your life. Also, for those of you whose birthday is in September, you're okay, you're alright. I mean, September might be the worst, might be the bad month or the worst month, but your birthdays are fine in September. Anyway, we'll see what happens. He's probably going to regret, I mean, actually not, not going to a party. Hey Danny, guess what? Did you know that this TV show came out on the exact day, month, and year that I was born? That's really cool. Tis. Can we watch it? We can watch it when we're done watching the news. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? No. Oh, I'll just be here if you need me. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at Beyonce's birthday party. Yeah, I was, and I decided not to go. Why'd you decide not to go? There's so many celebrities there, you gotta go. Well, today's just a really sad day. Why is today's sad? Oh, hey, you know, the show actually came out on my birthday. I mean, I mean, not the actual year, but the same day. Yeah, Jeffy was telling us, why is today sad? Marvin, are you kidding me? Don't you know what day it is? Hump day? Fuck. Oh, Marvin. That is so unbelievably not funny. Oh, it's Wednesday! Thank you for the update. Why is today sad? We don't know why. Okay, we're gonna do charades. I'll explain. This is the first word. Oh, 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 you're working at a pizzeria and, you're, and your man, you're tossing the dough and making pizzas because it's very busy. Marvin, I stopped because everything you said was wrong. Oh, there's a fly in your face and you're trying to swat it away! No. Um, ooh, you're a DJ and you're at a rave and man, you're pumping up the jam. No. You're pumping. You smell something really bad? Mm-mm. Ooh, you walked into a spider web and you're, you're getting it off your face. No. <gasps> oh, you're in a sauna and it's really hot so you're trying to breathe. <gasps> oh, <gasps> you're running from a zombie and you're looking back at, at it running after you and you're scared. No, God damn it, Marvin, I'm swimming, okay? The first word is I'm swimming, okay? Okay, swimming. Okay, here's the second one. <clears throat> You died? How did I die? Uh, you drowned. Oh, someone shot you with a harpoon because they thought you were a shark. That's close. Ooh, ooh, you, you swam 30 minutes after eating. How is that close to being shot with a harpoon, Marvin? I, I don't... Um, you swallowed too much water, you have a tummy gate. You, uh... Oh, oh, you had a heart attack from swimming too much. I'm fucking Steve Irwin, Marvin. That's what I'm doing. I'm fucking Steve Irwin. Okay, that does not look like you're banging Steve Irwin. No, I don't mean I'm literally... <clears throat> Marvin, it's charades. I am Steve Irwin. Okay, let's play a different one because I, I didn't really get No, no, that. no, we're not playing charades. I'm telling you why I'm sad today. Today is the day Steve Irwin died. Well, not actually today. It was like 18 years ago, but it's the same day. That was today? Yes, it's today. Oh, well, that's sad. Yes, it's very sad, Marvin. That's what I'm saying. Today is a tragic day. Yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago, so I mean, it's kind of like 
move on a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. It was a long time ago. Yeah, you're right, Marvin. I guess Pearl Harbor wasn't a big deal because it was a long time ago. Oh, and the Holocaust? <laughs> What's that? That was a long time ago. I don't care about that. And slavery? That's just the cat's pajamas, Marvin. That's what you think, right? Because it was a long time ago? No, I'm just saying it was so long ago and I didn't know him, so I mean... Oh, you didn't know him, so you lack empathy, huh? You're a psychopath? That's what you're telling me, Marvin? No, it was sad when it happened. It's still sad, but, but people just don't really think about it that often. I, I didn't know today was that day. It's not happened on my calendar. He died today. Oh, how quickly we forget. Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, MK! Beyonce's birthday party was ruined because one of the guests she invited didn't show up, and that made her cry. We have an important message from the president now. Breaking news, America. Some broke-ass, ginger-headed, fuck-ass bitch ruined Beyonce's birthday party and made her cry. America's most hated person now ruined one of the happiest days in September. If you see his face, punch him and call him names. Thank you. I will, Joe Biden. I will. I will literally beat the hell out of him until he won't be able to see. He won't be able to talk. He won't be able to literally smell anything because his nose is about to break. I mean, let's face everyone, he fucking deserves it. Here he is waiting for the dumbest shit that he could just do one goddamn thing, and that's going to Beyonce's party. Way to go, bro. You made her cry. What's wrong with you? And also, I will say, happy birthday, Beyonce. It's her first 43 birthday. She's turning 43 years old, so good job for her. And for those of you who have listened to her songs, I bet you will. Every, each and every one of her songs. Yes, I like it a little bit, too. Here he is playing charades. He should just tell them. Just tell them. Dumbass. And also, I like it when Joe Biden come. He, he come a broke ass, ginger headed, fuck ass bitch. <laughs> oh my god, these AIs are cracking me up. I like it how they did it on Joe Biden. Oh man, really great. And also, I knew he was gonna regret it. Oh, and by the way, I did look up to see who Steve Irwin that he was talking about. And it really is sad to hear about what happened to him, even though Brooklyn guy was giving us some hint about how he died. He died by stay ray in his chest. It really is tragic that he died like that. The stay ray killed him. Oh my god. Oh, also, he was an Australian wildlife and educator. And now that he also has his own TV show called The Crocodile Hunter. Yeah, he likes to literally see wild animals and literally see and where he experiences them. Or he wants to see how they are. And he had a great show. He was a great person. And those who, who remember watching his show can never forget about him. So it's really sad to hear about what happened. Oh man, she told the president. Oh, you made Beyonce cry. Well, I didn't mean to make her cry. I just didn't want to celebrate on such a sad day. Ow. Fuck. Marvin. Oh, Jeffy, don't hit him. It's okay. He was just doing what the president told him. Oh, well, I mean, you, you made Beyonce cry, and now people are going to want to punch you. Well, look, if anybody tries to punch me, I will just explain why I didn't go to the party. Did you explain to her why you didn't go? Well, I didn't really get a chance. She made a very hurtful joke about Steve Irwin. At oh. least, I think it was a joke. It was Stingray-related. It was either a joke, or she just has very weird sayings. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go get a beer out of your fridge. Ow! Jeffy? Oh, I mean, the president told him, like... I guess you can do it. <sighs> the last beer. This is for you, Steve! Well, while I'm here, I might as well see if they have any snacks in the pantry. Uh-uh! What do you think you're doing going in my pantry? Oh, hey, Chef PP. I'm just looking for some snacks. Oh, no. You don't deserve no snacks. You made Beyonce cry. You don't make the Queen Bee cry. Oh, come on. I just didn't want to go to a party. Nah, this is for the Bee Hive. Ah! Ah! Shit. Oh, why the hive, bitch? Hey, ah! ah! Yeah, buzz, buzz, motherfucker, buzz, buzz! <laughs> well, what happened to you? I just got my ass kicked for making Beyonce cry. Well, well, you know that was gonna happen. I mean, the president announced to the world that people need to punch you in the face. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ow! God damn it, I'm, I'm just doing what the president told me to do. I know. Ugh, okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to go to the party. You're actually gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go get my wife. He's gonna get beat up by everyone. <gasps> oh my god, Boydy, what happened to you? I got beat up for making Beyonce cry. Oh! Sorry, boy, need president's orders. I know, it's okay. Listen, I think I decided to go to Beyonce's birthday party. What? We're gonna go? Yeah, but I need you to put some makeup on my face so I don't look so beat up. Okay, boy, can I also bring the cookie cake? 
Well, you ate goddamn half of it. I was hungry, Boiny, because you said we weren't going. Fuck it. Okay, bring it. Ugh, kill me. Boiny, are you sure this is Beyonce's birthday party? There are balloons, Karen. It's definitely her house. Hey, are you here for Beyonce's birthday party? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me check the guest list. Let's see. Greg, Steve Harvey. Oh, that's me right there, Brooklyn guy, plus one. Hey, you're the guy who made her cry. Yeah, that would be me. You got a lot of nerve showing up here, bud. No one here likes you. Everyone hates you. I know. Well, we brought a cookie cake. A half-eaten cookie cake. You know what? Let me go ask her if she even wants you here. Stay put. Karen, I want to leave. No, Boiny, you're going to make it right. But he said everyone in there hates me. All right, so Beyonce's in her room crying, so I didn't have a chance to ask her. So why don't you come inside? grab a snack and sit by the pool and wait. And when she's done crying, she'll come out and talk to you. Okay. You're the reason she's crying. I know. This party's about to turn to an ass kicking party because they're literally about to literally beat the hell out of him until he dies. Well, this is all this is his own fault, so what the hell does he expect? You know, I'm really about to enjoy a great show here of everybody kicking broken guys' ass. This could be a great video right here. And also, I'm liking their inviting the celebrities that we all know and we all love them. Drake, Tom Brady, oh, Kevin Hart, The Rock, Steve Harvey, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, Jay-Z. Oh man, awesome. Oh man, I wonder if I can see all of them in the party. This will be freaking amazing. If not, then it's alright. I just want to see one or two celebrities. And also, I like the part where Chef PB hit him with a frying pan. Let's go, Chef PB. That's what I'm talking about. You never make Beyonce cry, or this will happen. Next time he gets to invite you to a party like this, he better show the hell up, or else everybody's on the hate. Anyway, we'll see what happens next. Boy, I me, mean, where should I put the cookie cake? Probably next to her real cake, Karen. You know, I really thought Beyonce would have had a bigger cake. <gasps> Oh my god, Boiny, there's Drake standing over there! Ooh, Drake, who gives a shit? Oh, I think he's coming over! Brooklyn guy, you're a dummy head, poopy pants, stinky butthead. I hate you for making Beyonce cry on her birthday. Um, I hope you step on a crack and break your mama's back. Excuse me, I'm heading to talk to a minor. Why would he admit that? Oh my god, Boiny, Drake just talked to you! Do you think he'll take a picture with me? Are you under 18? No. Well, then probably not. I'm gonna grab a red solo cup and stand by the pool. Boiny, do you think anyone would mind if I had some more of the cookie cake? Karen, I don't think anybody wants any of your shitty cookie cake. Ugh, lame ass party. Oh, hey Beyonce, I made it to your birthday. What do you want, Brooklyn guy? You already ruined my birthday and made me cry all day. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Listen, I just really want to explain why I didn't want to come earlier. You see, your birthday's also the same day Steve Irwin died, and I just can't celebrate on a day this sad. Wait. You think I don't know about Steve Irwin dying on the same day as my birthday? I carry this framed picture of Steve everywhere I go because I love him so much. I don't celebrate my birthday on this day. I celebrate the life of Steve Irwin. Oh my god, Beyonce! You do understand! Let's fucking party! Steve, 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 Steve! Wow, I was not expecting that ending. I was not expecting that. Uh huh. Either this party was for Steve Irwin or it's still for Beyonce because it's still her birthday. So, I guess I, I like the ending. I really do. I mean, I guess she forgives him for missing his birthday, even though you may have cried, but all's well forgiven. Yep, it really is. Also, yeah, for those of you who have missed Steve Irwin, how, how are you feeling? I mean, did you cry when when you heard about him passing away a long time ago? I mean, tell me how you feel. But anyways, what a deal this was. I actually like the part where everybody kicked Broken Guy's ass. I mean, Chef PB him with a pot and Marvin and Jeffy, yep, punched the hell out of him. I mean, I would volunteer too. I mean, I would, I would break his teeth. Yep. Next time when celebrity invite you to their party, you better show the hell up. I mean, me honestly, I would love to show up. Hell yes. If it's my favorite, then I would definitely love to show up. Like, come on. I don't care if it's nighttime or it's daytime. I want to show up because I want to miss the party. I don't even want to miss the concert. 
because I like them. I love them. Everybody does. They're songs. They're acting. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, it really is. It really is awesome. Uh huh. And also, I like it when those AIs that they did on Joe Biden and Beyonce, incredible. It really is. Make this video more interesting. Yeah. This is not a bad video. This is not. This is actually a good video. And also, if those of you who are celebrating Beyonce's birthday, yeah, congrats to her. Yeah, congrats to her. 43 years old. Really, really is amazing. Uh huh. It really is. So, anyways, I'm just gonna start right here, everyone. So, I'll be celebrating the next video by SML. But till then, y'all have a nice day out there. And I'll be seeing you later, alright? So, peace out. Stay pro. Where everyone.